for this week asks, uh, is there a five day template for guided programming? I'm asking because with my schedule, I typically can't get all three lifts done in one day. And I'd like to go to maybe a five or even a six day routine where I can do two lifts each day and that would fit my schedule without sacrificing too much volume. If not, that's fine. But even a template for how to rearrange the lifts in a five day segment would be great. So, uh, no, there's not a five day template built into guided programming. Um, if you are interested in uh, spreading your work over five days, it's pretty easy. Um, you just need to do it based on priority. So in general, uh, so for guided programming, the priority system is assigned to each workout and that helps to simplify the whole priority thing uh, and for rearranging work and, and whatnot. But for what you're going to need, we need to be a bit more granular than that. So your priority one work is all of your competition exercises. So your competition squat, deadlift, bench press, and usually there's a second highly specific movement for the bench press in a given week. This could be touch and go bench or close grip bench or something like that. Usually it's one of those two things. And those four exercises are going to be your priority one movements. Your priority two movements are going to be any assistance exercises that you have. So those are going to be uh, things like um, uh, squatting with uh, pause squats or pin squats or pause deadlifts or, you know, so on and so on. Uh, so uh, those types of things are going to be um, uh, assistance movements and those are going to be your priority two uh, slots. Priority three is going to be anything that's supplemental, but training a prime mover. Uh, the only exception to that is the supplemental deadlift. Uh, so supplemental deadlift are things like RDLs, good mornings, um, snatch grip, straight leg deadlifts, uh, things like that. Uh, if you have any rows and the deadlift supplement movement are all priority four exercises. Okay. So there you have it. Priority one, two, three, four. Once you have got your work broken up by priority, it gets to be a bit more easy. You look at what training days you have available and you place the competition exercises uh, where you will uh, be able to turn in the best performance. And then you place the second most important exercises where you'll turn in the second most perform second best performance and so on down the list. So it depends on how your schedule shapes out. Um, most likely uh, your competition exercises will be done after a rest day. Uh, your at least your competition squat and bench, your competition deadlift will probably be done the day after that um, alongside a assistance movement for the bench. And then, you know, you keep working down the list based on the amount of rest that you have available. Now, if you're going to spread all this work out over six days, it's going to seem like uh, you're just going working down the list. And that's a fine way to start. But what you may find is that you know, by your third or fourth day of hammering these heavy comp movements and heavy assistance movements that you're really not recovering very well. And it may be more beneficial for you to uh, spread out the assistance work a little bit and have like a supplemental day in there where you're banging out some overhead press and uh, some leg presses or something like that. You want to pay attention to how you're feeling and make those adjustments based on what you see. Trust your own observations here. So if you see that, hey, I, it looks like it would be better if I did it this other way, then go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, and that way you'll know for sure. So hopefully that's enough to get you started. Please feel free to send in some follow-up questions.